March 10 every year is set aside to celebrate the International Day of Women Judges to raise awareness about the importance of gender equality in the judiciary. In Nigeria, the emergence of women judges in the polity many decades ago has also recorded significant accomplishment from the women folk presiding over the various superior courts in Nigeria and even up to the Supreme Court. Our correspondent Babaji Deli reports. The United Nations emphasizes the significance of the International Day of Women Judges as it will help achieve the sustainable development goals in terms of gender equality and empowerment. Lagos is the host of this maiden national edition organized by the Association of Women Judges in Nigeria. The program is geared at celebrating the excellence of members of a body in a profession once considered the exclusive preserve of men. There are judges who have proven their mettle. There are judges who are working assiduously well and contributing immensely to the reputation which the girl state is earning and will continue to earn in the fight or the struggle against the vices. There are three arms of government. It is only in the judiciary uh, through when Honorable Justice uh, Miriam Mukta Aloma was the Chief Justice of Nigeria that a woman occupied the top position in one of the three arms of government. The other arms of, gov of government are, are well advised to also toe this path so that uh, merit can come to the fore. Beyond this milestone is the need to also focus on the plight of women and children in the society in relation to the challenges and deficiencies identified during investigation, prosecution and trials of gender-based offences in court. I know in Lagos State you just heard about the issue of the young lady who was violated and killed. We have had issues of children, toddlers who have been killed in school by teachers who are supposed to look after them. Is there a failure on the part of parents, guardians, teachers, and the uh, system in general to protect our vulnerable in society? This is what we are going to be looking at. We are in the field. We are in the end result. When they are arrested, they are brought to us. So we want to see if there are steps we can take towards helping the advocates in eradicating this menace that is threatening our society. How then does this resonate with the realities of the profession? As a female judge, we, we bring in so much more into the profession. We bring in the fact that we are carers, we are mothers, and this will reflect in our disposition and our judicial pronouncements. Now, it will reflect in our judicial pronouncements not based on emotions or sentiments, but well grounded in law. The challenge for the women judges is to continually prove their mettle by showing courage, integrity, and knowledge in their chosen field. Babajide Lee, Silverbird News 24, Lagos.
And ahead of this year's rainy season, the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, South-South Zone Office, has held a one-day stakeholders meeting on emergency preparedness and response to disaster in Port Harcourt River State. You may recall that the Nigerian Meteorological Agency, NIMET, advised Nigerians to expect early rainfall in April and May this year. Our correspondent, Monica Ogwa, has the report. It was a gathering that brought together stakeholders drawn from the Federal Road Safety Corps, Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, Red Cross, Nigerian Meteorological Agency, and the Federal Fire Service, amongst many others. In his opening remarks, the South-South Zona Coordinator of NEMA, Godwin Tepico, revealed the aim of the meeting. Uh, the idea is uh, to continue to build on the collaboration and partnership we have with our stakeholders. And by the act establishing National Emergency Management Agency, it's also provided that we monitor the state of preparedness of our stakeholders. Keep reminding them that they have a duty to perform when disaster happens. Godwin Tepico, however, expressed concerns that River State is among the few states in the country that are yet to create functional state emergency management agencies. The lack of functional state emergency management agencies and local emergency management authorities in the South-South Zone. Yeah, because the structures has to be in place so that NEMA at the federal level can coordinate, you know, the activities of other stakeholders at the state and the local government level. Representatives of safety agencies who spoke at the One Day Stakeholders Forum restated their commitment to emergency response. As much as we are talking about safety, and as we recognize and know that the Federal Road Safety Corps is a lead agency in road traffic management and safety administration in Nigeria, we have a key role to play when we talk about disaster management. With the recent uh, weather uh, predictions by Nigerian Meteorological Agency, I believe uh, the stakeholders meeting is very important because without disaster there will be no mitigation measures. And as early as this, the rains are about to set in, the stakeholder meeting has come rightly on time. It will really afford uh, all the necessary stakeholders the emergency response to, uh, to get new ideas, share different plans on how to go about uh, the different ways to mitigate. We are part of the emergency units and anytime there is fire outbreak in the states, we will always respond to those emergency. The lead facilitator and NEMA search and rescue officer Damian Egan trained participants on their roles and responsibilities in the case of any emergency. From Port Harcourt, Monica Ogwa, Silverbed News 24.